What a scene it was there in Champaign. You can see the Orange Crush showed up and it was worth it as Illinois pulled off the upset win over Michigan State. And that is why they all ended up on the court because that is what sports are all about. These moments right here, then and now, Court Rush Edition. You can see the tweets. How cool is that scene? And one of the stars from that game, Io Desumu, joins me now. And Io, not just one of the stars in that game, but one of the rising stars in that league. But let's go back to Tuesday night. That's probably one of the moments that you dreamed of when you committed to Illinois. What was it like on the court after that game when you upset Michigan State? Um, it was a, a huge accomplishment for not just myself, but for the university as a whole. I feel like this is what we've been working on all year. Um, to come out and get a, game, a, a win like that against a great team, um, it was a, definitely a um, turning step into this program. And specifically, that moment where you were just rushed by the fans, I heard that you had trouble breathing. What was the first yeah. thing you noticed as fans start storming the court? Just take me back to that moment. I mean, the clock went out, and then um, I jumped up, and um, me and Kip jumped up um, on each other. And then before you know it, the whole Orange Crush just uh, bombarded into the court. Uh, as I was on the court, I was telling myself to absorb as, as much as you can because this doesn't happen. Um, this doesn't happen to everyone. Not everyone gets a chance to, um, to beat a, a really good team on their home court and, their t uh, and um, fans come and bombard the court. I know that someone you have has been in your life a lot when it comes to basketball is your father. Explain the influence that he's had in your life from a young age and kind of the regimen he put you on to kind of set you up for where you are today. Oh, he's been huge. Um, my dad is, um, I wouldn't be where I am today without my dad. Uh, whenever I'm down, he always there to pick me up. He always keep it 100% with me. And um, he always tell me that um, what I'm destined for and my capabilities, even when I'm not believing in myself. So without my dad, I, I don't think I would be here where I am today. So I just thank God for just giving me a great person like that. It was probably really important for you that you could play close to home so people like your parents and your family could come see you. But why was it important for you to do that as a Chicago kid to go to Illinois? I just felt like um, it was destined for me. I feel like everyone takes their own routes, and I feel like my route was just staying home and just trying to help um, turn this program around and be able to compete with the best of the best. I just felt like I had a chip on my shoulder to just um, do this and accept the challenge, and um, I'm loving it. One of the words that Brad Underwood has used to describe you is poise. You just have composure. We saw it at the end of that Michigan State game, hitting a couple of clutch threes. I would like to believe that that stuff comes from experience, but as a freshman, where do you get that experience from? What do you draw on? I just feel like it's always more you can do. Never get complacent, never get satisfied. Even after I hit that second three and we went up six, I was telling myself, all right, they got a good guard over there in Cassius. Um, they got a Hall of Fame coach on the sideline, so it's not time to celebrate yet. Let's try to get some stops, and then we can celebrate and, um, when we win the game. Okay, well, hopefully we can do some celebrating now because, Io, we're going to play a game with you, okay? I'm going to call it right. 90s or now to see what has a bigger influence in your life because we're at that point where when I look at people's bios, players are born in the 2000s, not the 90s yeah. or 80s anymore. That would be you as well. I think you just had a birthday in mid of January. So yep, happy belated on that. But what I'm going to do is I have five questions here, okay? And they're from okay. the 90s. I want to see if you know the 90s trivia still, okay? Uh, I'm about to lose this. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Come on, have I'm more confidence than that. Okay. So what 90s sitcom theme song starts with in West Philadelphia, born and raised? I bet you can even finish uh, it. The no? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah, that was good. So you're one for one. Okay. Oh, that's easy. I got this. <laughs> All right. What word did Homer Simpson make famous? Maybe not even a word. Um, I, th I think we went for one. I don't know that. Do you know who Homer Simpson is? From nope. the Simpsons? 
Nah, I don't. I never watched that before. <laughs> I know they be like predicting um, stuff that happened in the world, so maybe I should start watching. Um. Okay. Does dope ring a bell? <laughs> um, no. Dope. Nah, dope. That ring no bells. <laughs> This is okay. Bad. It was worth no. a shot. It was worth a shot. Yeah. This one might be a little harder, okay? What email service opens up with the famous catchphrase, you've got mail? AOL. You knew that one and you didn't know Homer Simpson? I'm impressed. I only know, I only know that one because I got an AOL account. <laughs> you have an AOL oh, account. Bro. My mom yeah, has an AOL, AOL account. account. I'm not sure what that yeah. means. <laughs> that was the first one my mom made for me, so <laughs> I know that one off that. Does it have like some special username? Nah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I owe the point G. We kept it classy. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's really interesting that you have an AOL account. That's probably the most interesting thing we've gotten. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Can you name one member of InSync or Backstreet Boys? Um, I give you like ten they? chances there. Who are they? They are rapping. What? They are rapping. Wait, group? what? <laughs> you don't know Instinct or uh, Backstreet Boys? Nah. What? My heart just broke. Do they um sing or something? <laughs> this is <Wait>. bad. <laughs> Justin uh, Timberlake? No. Oh, Justin Timberlake. Nah, I wouldn't <laughs> guess that. Uh, He's from, uh, that that's like where he got his start, was in Sync. No. Uh, that's, was a, that was his singing group? Yeah. There are two pop groups. Backstreet Boys isn't even making a comeback. They're like still relevant. Oh. Oh, oh my no, gosh. I never heard of that. Simpsons and Sync and Backstreet Boys, but you have an AOL account. I still can't get over yeah, this. I got okay. an AOL account. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? I thought that was kind of a gimme. We needed a rap group or something. Rap group, a rapper. Yeah. That's what I thought, maybe. I, I never heard of the Backstreet Boys. Oh, my God. No, I never heard of them. I still listen to them. Okay. Um, the NBA franchise won the most championships in the 90s. Who is that? You were a Chicago kid. I believe in you, Io. Oh, that's Jordan. They got to be Jordan, because when he played, nobody beat him. <laughs> I know they're on back. That is correct. The Chicago Bulls. Oh, I'm so, good, too. I'm good. <laughs> Winning record. You did good. I'm good. You knew Jordan. You knew the Bulls. You have an AOL account. I'd say that is a great note to end this interview on. Io. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> the Backstreet Boys. I'm going to keep up with them. The Backstreet you'll Boys. You have to. I don't know if you'll like them, but you can listen to them. Nah, nah. That, that's not my genre of music. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's not a lot of people's genre. So, Io, <laughs> thank you so much for the time. We learned so much about you today. No problem, thank you.